the storm swept in just before dawn with gusts of more than 100 miles per hour. It couldn't have peaked at a worse moment, the height of the rush hour, leaving motorways blocked and tens of thousands of people stranded. The fourth road bridge was closed to all traffic, except it seems for one lone cyclist taking his life in his hands. And the further you go out on the bridge, the more exposed you are, and the highest recorded wind speed was 91 miles per hour this morning. When we arrived, we risk assessed the situation and cleared the traffic from the bridge, and at that point we deemed it too dangerous to leave our personnel on the bridge. And it was dangerous elsewhere too. This accident in West Lothian claimed the life of a lorry driver. His vehicle had apparently been blown onto these two cars. There were similar scenes across the central belt as the emergency services battled to free people from the wreckage of metal and wood. It's still not clear how many people have been hurt overall. The railways have been hit too. Glasgow Central Station was closed when debris hit the roof as the entire Scottish rail network came to a halt. Apparently the glass fell in in the train station and then just now um, I was in the room and the window just flew open and then the alarm started going, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be fine when they get it sorted. It's just delaying everything, isn't it, today, getting them the roads, etc. But uh, you can't do anything about it, can you? At the height of the storm, the power companies say 130,000 homes were without electricity, 50,000 in the south of Scotland, 80,000 in the north. Hundreds of engineers are now working to restore supplies. We were ready first thing this morning for the impact of this storm. Since, um, since the fault started to occur, um, we've had a thousand engineers and support staff out across the area identifying the faults and getting resources to where they needed to get customers' supplies back on. And everywhere you look, there is damage. You can see here the real power of this storm as it swept across Scotland this morning and forecasters say there is more to come, blizzards and flooding to follow. James Cook, BBC News.